Shout out to the WTC family. We the chosen ones, baby. How's everybody doing on this beautiful day? God is saying, never let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. But when you arrive, walk like God sent you. I need everybody to share this video. I need everybody to comment 1111. I need everybody to like and subscribe to my channel because I'm telling you right now, God said, when I send you, when you arrive, you better walk like God sent you. Understand what I'm saying? And I want to break it down because guess what? Sometimes we talk too much. You're not supposed to let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Understand what I'm saying? You're not supposed to be showing everybody your blessings that God has given you. I have learned since that robbery, y'all. I've learned a lot. Everybody out here is not going to be happy for you when you win. Everybody out here is not successful like you are. Everybody out here is not receiving the blessings of the Lord, which makes rich. So you have to be separate, come out from amongst these miserable people. Because you're going to be miserable just like them. You soon become the company you keep. Get around some people that are winners. Get around some people that are really succeeding in life. Get around some people that really love God. Because I'm telling you something right now. We're really living in our last and evil days where people are really just straight grimy. They are being straight shady. People rob you out of $5 that they could. People will rob you out of two dollars if they can, because that's how desperate they are nowadays. We're living in our last days where people are going to be fighting over possessions, over materialistic things. It's in the Bible. It says people are going to be fighting over over materialistic things and possessions and people are going to be battling over over positions and people are going to be lovers of themselves. Look in the Bible. People are going to be fighting against each other and wrestling against each other and arguing with each other because those are th these things are going to happen in the last and evil days. And that's based on spiritual warfare. The world is coming to an end pretty soon, y'all. Y'all got to wake up and smell the coffee. Why are you thinking it's a lot of stealing going on, a lot of murdering, a lot of killings out here, y'all? Why you think it's, it's not a lot of praying? A lot of people are not even going to church anymore. People stop going to church. Come on now. People stop believing in God. People are, 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 are really just losing their minds because of this pandemic, because everything that's going on is all a part of the plan, y'all. Don't let the devil defeat you. Don't let the devil take you off your mission. Don't let this pandemic defeat you. A lot of people are letting this pandemic defeat them. The mask dirty. The whole outfit is dirty. The hands dirty. Everything is dirty now. Come on now. Because guess what? It starts in the mind. Once your mind play tricks on you, once your mind tell you you ain't going to be able to do nothing or you're not going to be able to make some money because of this pandemic, you need to tell that mind the devil is a liar. Get out of my mind and ask God to renew your mind. I'm telling y'all because it starts in the mind. A lot of people have lost their minds. A lot of people have lost their way. A lot of people don't know which way to turn. Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you which way to turn. Turn unto Jesus. Give Jesus a chance because he died for the opportunity. I need everybody to put that in the comments below. Say, give Jesus a chance. Make Jesus your choice. Put that in the comments below. Say, I'm going to make Jesus my choice. You know why you should make Jesus your choice? Because he the one that died for the opportunity. He died that you might have the right to the tree of life. Come on now. And y'all wondering. People wondering, how can you believe in a man that you never even seen before? How can you believe in Jesus and you never seen him before? You know how I know I know that Jesus is real because of my life experiences. You know how I know Jesus is real because what I go through on a daily basis. You know how I know Jesus is real because he's the only one that brought me from a mighty long way. And it was nothing but the grace of God. People didn't bring me this far because people will they'll praise you one day. And then they'll talk about you the next day. People will help you one day and then they'll stab you in the back the next day. God never left me nor forsake me. And I've been living for 31 years. 31 years. That's a long time living, y'all. Y'all might say, oh, yeah, you're still young spring chicken. You out here still living. But guess what? 31 years is a long time. And I am grateful for that. I can be able to still see the next day, the brighter day at 31 years old. A lot of people didn't make it to see 31 years old, y'all. Come on now. You know, I'm going to keep it real with the people. A lot of people didn't make it to C31. A lot of people didn't make it to C18. 
So you, if you are alive and if you are in your right mind, lift up those holy hands and give God thanks. Because I'm going to tell you something. If it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, think about it. Where will we actually really be? Let that marinate real quick. You know I got to spark him up. Let that marinate real quick. If it had not been for God who was on our side, where will we really actually be, y'all? I don't even want to think about it because I already know where I would have been if it had not been for God. I would be a ship without a sail. I would be out here lost. Lost out of my mind in these streets. Thank God that he saved my life. Thank God that he changed my mind. He moved on my heart. Thank God that he made a way out of no way. Thank God he made a way when there seems to be no way. God will make a way. All you got to do is believe in him. All you got to do is trust him. And I promise you, he going to bring you out. Shout out to the WTC family. I need everybody. If any one of these messages resonate with your spirit, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Because I'm telling you right now, we're going to newer levels, newer heights in the name of Jesus. We don't have no time to be looking back, y'all. Stop letting your left hand know what your right hand doing. These motherfuckers don't give a damn about you anyway. Stop telling people what you're up to. Stop telling people your next move. Stop telling people, you know, the blessings that the Lord has given you because everybody not getting blessed like you. Everybody not going to be happy for you. Everybody not going to congratulate you when you win. Pay attention to a person's energy when you're around them. You know when somebody is successful. You know when somebody is happy. You know when somebody is really living the best life that they can possibly live. Get around people that are really winning. When you get around people that are winning in life, financially winning, I mean, career-wise winning, living their dreams, guess what? They always going to be happy. You know, sometimes they say money don't buy happiness, but now I'm starting to believe like, you know what? If you think about it, if even if you got a couple of dollars in your pocket, you're going to be somewhat happy. Come on now, let's keep it real. Even if you got $20 in your pocket, you're going to be a little happy. It may not be what you want, but at least you got something. Understand what I'm saying? So just imagine if you put out that YouTube channel. Just imagine if you really go for your dreams and your goals. Put that, put down that nine to five and go for your dreams. I keep telling y'all, the boss ain't gonna never pay y'all to be his neighbor. I don't give a damn who they are. It can be a she, it can be a he. They will never pay you to be their neighbor. And that's why I say go for your dreams and your goals. I've been working since I was 16, y'all. I'm not going to sit up here and cap. I've been working since I was 16. Slaving. I worked at every job you can name. I was there with the hat and everything, the whole uniform and the whole nine. But my attitude determined my altitude. I knew the universe had something special for me. I knew that God was going to make a way for me because of my attitude. See, you go to these jobs nowadays, everybody, everybody in their mama is mad. They mad at you. They mad at the world. Don't get mad at me because you decide to write your name on that job application. You already know what this is going to entitle. You already know what you're getting ready to get into right now. So don't get mad at me because you don't want to apply for the job. You will be surprised. You go to these jobs, people are having different attitudes. They're mad. I understand. I feel your pain. I know the boss will never pay you to be his neighbor. I know that for without a shadow of a doubt. I know that. I've been doing it for 15 years. But let me tell you something. When you work at a nine to five and your attitude is positive, understand what I'm saying? Your spirit is fed. Your mind is renewed. Your mind is made up to go with Jesus all the way. Let me let you know something. When I was flipping burger patties, when I was throwing fries in the greaser, I had a, a positive attitude. Let me tell you something. When I was taking thousands of orders a day, knowing I wanted to throw in a towel, but I knew that my attitude is going to determine my altitude. I knew that I wasn't going to be on this job for so long, but you know what? I gave it my all. I gave every customer great service. Understand what I'm saying? I, 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 I took care of everybody and treated everybody like they wanted to be treated because I knew one day my attitude is going to determine my altitude. Your attitude that you bring to the table is going to determine where you go in life. If you're always positive, you just never know. Somebody going to be watching you. Somebody is watching you and they want to promote you to their business. You don't know who watching you. It can be a billionaire. It can be a trillionaire watching you. That's why you always want to keep a positive attitude, a positive spirit. Do what you need to do and get up out of there. Stop making friends at this nine to five job because guess what? They not going to pay you to be their neighbor. Come on now.
I, when it's all said and done, they got to go to their house and pay their bills. You got to go to your house and pay your bills. Let's keep it 100 with the people. So if you're working a nine to five, work it as long as you can. But why you working at nine to five? When you get off, you better go home and work on your dreams and goals. Because I'm telling you, it's going to pay off. I'm living my dream right now. I'm not talking about nobody. I'm just, just stating straight facts. I'm living my dream right now because you know what? I made up in my mind. I said, you know what? I'm tired of this nine to five. I am more than a conqueror. I will not continue to work this nine to five. I will not continue to be slaved around like this. I promise you, I made up in my mind at the age of 30 years old. I said, devil, you was a liar. You won't have no, no more dominion over my mind and, and, and over my body. Because sometimes when you get used to something, that's all you know. That's all your mind know to do. Devil, you a liar. It's more opportunities out here. It's more ways to make money. Devil, you a liar. And the truth ain't in you. Go back to the pits of hell to where you belong. Because I'm going to live my best life. You only got one life to live. Do what makes you happy. Working a nine to five ain't going to make you happy. That's just to get you over. Come on now. You know what that J-O-B means? Just over broke. Let's keep it 100 with the people. That's why you need to join my WTC Mentor Program. And I promise you I will get you to the next level. I need everybody to comment 1111 right now because we just passed 1111 right now. And don't forget to end it in Jesus' name. Let me respark this, y'all, because I'm going in like the Yin Yang Twins. I'm going in like Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg on a halftime show, on that Super Bowl halftime show. <clears throat> Let me tell you something. Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre, Mary J. Blige, Eminem, one thing they all have in common, they've been doing it for years. But guess what? They doing something that they love to do. And it's paying off for them. Are you? They didn't spend 30, 40 years flipping burgers and throwing lettuce and cheese and taco shells. Let me tell you something. It's more opportunities. Snoop Dogg is now the owner of Death Row Records. Dr. Dre is a billionaire. Mary J. Blige just put out another album and she's in her 50s. Let me tell you something. Eminem still throwing out heat. Kendrick Lamar still about to come out with another album. Let me tell you something. It pays to do what you really love to do. It pays to live right, man. I'm telling y'all, these people didn't stop. All gas, no brakes. That was one of the most iconic halftime shows I ever seen in my life. So let me tell you something. It can be done. Let me tell you something. You think Snoop Dogg let people know that he about to be the owner of Death Records before it happened? No. That's what I'm saying. Some of, some of you guys are letting the eggs hatch before it even boil. Let that egg boil first. Let God bring it to pass. Sometimes we might pray for something. We might ask God for a blessing or ask God to, to really give us a, a, a vision or a purpose or Lord, please bless our dreams and goals. And then we go around telling small minded people, let me tell you something. That's why I said, never let your left hand know what your right hand doing. You never let a small minded person know about your dreams and your goals. Because let me tell you something, the minute you let a small minded person know about your dreams and your goals, they're going to shut it down. They're going to shut it down. They're going to tell you you can't do it. They're going to tell you you're not supposed to do it. They're going to tell you the way that they want you to do it because they don't want to see you win. That's why I said never let your left hand know what your right hand doing. People already see me all over the world, but I'm not going up to people telling them what's going on. I might tell a few people because, you know, I know a certain people are going to clap when I win. But it's just certain people you just don't tell everything because they're not going to be happy to see you win. So let that egg boil before you crack that egg and eat it. Let it boil. You letting the egg crack and all the yolk coming out. It ain't even boiled yet. Let God move in your life first before you tell somebody else. Because I'm going to tell you something. You'll tell a small-minded person your dreams. Ooh, they're going to shut that down. And you're going to be right back at Del Taco. And you're going to say to yourself, why am I back at Del Taco? Why am I doing this all over again? Because you done told a small-minded person your dreams and they done shut it down. They done prayed for your downfall and you wonder why you back in drive at the drive-thru at Del Taco working 50, 60 hours a week when you could have been putting those 50 and 60 hours into your, into your gift, into your calling, into your YouTube channel. Think about it. Think about it. Uh, think about me putting 60 hours into my YouTube channel then to put 60 hours at a job that would never pay you to be his neighbor. That never, ever gave me benefits of 15 years that I've been working. They never gave me a raise like that. And they never gave me benefits. 
and I was a really huge, uh, uh, I was a really huge, um, 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 access, you know, I was a really huge, you know, I was, a. Uh, how can I say it? I was really huge to their company. I made their company richer. My presence alone made their company richer, but did they want to give me health insurance? No. Did they want to give me a raise? No, because the boss, when they see potential in you, they're going to keep you at a certain level. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. When people see certain potential in you, oh, yeah, they're going to block that real quick because they don't want you doing better than them. And that's the sad part about it is it's just money. But people don't think like that. People want to buy a better car to you. They want to buy a better house. To you. They want to make more money so they can be in control of you. Pay attention to the signs when you go to these jobs. Pay attention to favoritism when you go to these jobs. That's why when you open up your own business, stop letting your left hand know what your right hand doing. When you just open up your own barbershop, fellas, stop letting your left hand know what your right hand doing. Let your business cards do the talking. Understand what I'm saying? Let your business cards be the customer service. Be humble because I'm telling you something. People that you know is not going to really support your dream and your vision. So you got to be humble anyway. But it's the people that you don't know that's going to push you to your full potential. It'll be a stranger that you never met in your life that's going to push you to your full potential. That's going to say, hey, keep going. I see greatness inside of you. And that's sad. You would think it's the people that you know that's going to push you to your full potential. But it's not it's not the people that you know. It's the people that you would never, ever think or the people that you don't know. They're going to say, hey, my brother, hey, my sister, here's twenty dollars. Here's ten dollars. It's not much, but I believe in you. And that little ten dollars is going to push you to make it a little bit more extra money. Come on now. This is spiritual warfare out here. Either people going to want to see you win or they not. You got to discern either 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 they want to see you win or they're not going to see you win and stay away from people that don't want to see you win. There's levels to this shit. You only got one life to live. I only got one life to live. I'm not going to let no devil in hell or no negative energy or no negative spirit take me off of my mission, take me off of my vi vision because I know what God got for me. I know what God got for me. I know the plans that God got for me. And it's going to be the plans of good and not of evil. Let me tell you something. It's a lot of negativity going on in this world. It's a lot of evil spirits going on, going on in this world. When I was a kid, I didn't really, I mean, I, I really didn't know what spirits were. When my grandmother used to pray over spirits and shit, I didn't know what she was praying over. But when I got older, oh my God, it came to me bright as day. Now these spirits are real. This spiritual warfare is real. Energy is real. You don't want to be around no negativity. You don't want to be around nobody with low vibration. Because it's going to rub off on you. Get around some excited people, some people who's happy, some people who's laughing, some people who's rejoicing. Get around some people that really want to see you win. Get around some successful people. And I promise you, you're going to be successful just like them. So stop letting your left hand know what your right hand is doing. But when you walk in that room, you better walk like God sent you. I don't give a damn if if it's a, a, a million people to your one. I don't give a damn if everybody in there is wearing hand-me-downs looking crazy. When you walk in that room, you better be fresh to death. When you walk in that room, you better go in there like God sent you. Because I'm telling you something right now. We're living in our last and evil days, man. Pay attention to people's body language. That's another way you can read people's spirit. Pay attention to people's body language. Pay attention to people's spirits. Pay attention to how people treat you. Understand what I'm saying? Pay attention to... You know, to 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 people and 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 and, and, and how they you know walking up on you and, and and trust me, I'm telling y'all, man, I just got robbed, but it wasn't for the grace of God. It wasn't for the blood covering. I just watched this old crazy fool right now. He damn near just reach out to somebody walking while they on their phone. I'm watching them right now. You got to be very careful. And his body language is walking. He walking like this. I'm looking at him right now. He walking like he big and he bag like. You know what I mean? I'm telling y'all, man, these spirits are real. And he just reached out like this, like he was going to snatch somebody's phone. Y'all better be careful. Y'all better be careful. Y'all, I just seen it right now. We're living in our last days where people are greedy. That's why you have to put on the whole armor of God so that you can withstand these fiery darts coming from Satan himself. Understand what I'm saying? So join my WTC mentor program and I promise you, I will get you to the next level. My email is Jordan underscore Howard 18 at Yahoo.com. That is my email, guys.
feel free to shoot me an email, any prayer requests, any testimonies, shoot your boy email, and I promise you, I will get you to the next level. If you guys would love to be a blessing to my YouTube channel, I do have a new cash app, guys. I do have a, a lot of people been asking me about my new cash app is is dollar sign symbol first. God will provide three one. That's G O D W I L L P R O V I D E three one. Understand what I'm coming from. I still have my PayPal, which is God will provide three zero. That's G O D W I L L P R O V I D E three zero. If you guys believe in 1111, because I'm a firm believer in 1111, I'm telling y'all, I see 1111 everywhere. Angel numbers. 7 7. I seen 777 seven, seven yesterday. <laughs> God is in the blessing business, man. I'm telling you, what you reap is what you sow. You put out good into the universe, good gonna come back. I just seen 777 seven, seven yesterday on, a, on a, a license plate. That's how you know the angel gods is watching over me, and I thank God for that. I give him the praise for that. I give him the glory for showing me these signs. Pay attention to the numbers, y'all. So if you guys believe in 11-11, sow a seed of $11.11, and I promise you, watch God move on your situation. Watch. Either to my cash app or to my PayPal. And also, please check out my descriptions below. It will also be in my descriptions below. All I need is one hour with you and I will get you to the next level. Trust me and just know one thing, baby, and I'm going to make it clean, baby, and I'm going to make it clean and I'm going to make it really, really clean for y'all. If you need a friend, you already know you got a friend in me. Come on now. Let me spark this. Come on now. If you need prayer, you got a prayer warrior in me. If you need motivation, if you need inspiration, you already know you got the best motivational speaker in the whole wide world, your boy, baby. You know why? Because we the chosen ones, baby. Be blessed and have a blessed weekend.